Happy Friday, everybody. It's Mason Buckles here. It is Friday the 27th. We are wrapping up the month of September and coming off of a couple of interesting weeks after the Fed announcement. So I wanted to give you guys a rundown. Uh, first, bear with me. I've been down with a bit of a cold slash flu and getting caught up here all week. However, what we've seen since the Fed last week is a lot of misconception in the marketplace uh, and a lot of consumers or buyers slash borrowers really not understanding what's going on. So I wanted to give you guys a really data heavy uh, set of information today to draw from. Hopefully pretty simplified, but ultimately uh, just a good talking point. So let's talk about what happened. First and foremost, yeah, the Fed cut their rate by 0.5% last week. That was expected. Uh, really what we saw leading up to that cut, uh, which was first was hinted at back in June, uh, and then finally came through here in September was traders and investors starting to bake in the 50 basis points. So if you looked at it when June kind of first leaked out that that was going to be coming down the pipeline here on the second half of the year, uh, for all intents and purposes, everybody thought 25 basis points. And then over the weeks leading up to uh, the September cut, uh, it shifted from sentiment of around 15% thinking maybe 50 basis points to over 70% the week of the cut. And really what that meant was uh, it was baked into the market. Mortgage rates hit 18 month lows the day before the Fed announcement. So just to be clear, mortgage rates have come down dramatically over the last couple of months and we're in the nice into the low sixes here, but ultimately they bottomed out at least short term uh, right before the Fed announcement and coming out of that, they've actually ticked up a little bit. Now it's modest, but it is up a little bit. If you looked at prevailing rates just a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago now, uh, they were right above 6%, like 6.07. And you'll see with the email I'm including here today, they've ticked up to about 6.2 nationally and prevailing. So uh, nicely lower than the sevens we saw basically for the entire first half of the year and the bulk of the second half last year, even after the that 8% spike in October, uh, but still not the fours and fives that I think people are misconstruing it is when they talk about the Fed funds rate as opposed to the mortgage rates. Well, what happened? Uh, the truth of the matter is the economic data and the comments coming out of the Fed announcement were what have driven the market. We saw some pullback from the bond side and, and specifically the bond traders on pricing, a bit of a sell-off uh, because really Fed kind of did what we expected. And then if you look at it in more detail, they haven't really shifted their focus entirely into the labor market. They still believe that inflation is going to temper and they believe that the labor market is important, but overall they don't see as big of a panic button as we'd expected, or at least as the market was hoping for. They feel the economy is solid. Uh, they're backing it up with the stats around spending and around uh, the labor pool. So what we're looking for is, uh, you know, probably a more moderate, decrease in interest rates, still expecting them to come down over the next 12 to 18 months, but I don't think we're going to see some rapid 50 basis point increase or excuse me, decrease uh, again over the next 30 days and then again over the next you know 90 days, etc. Uh, I've included a couple of articles for you here, uh, really just from this week, kind of outlining a little bit more as to what's going on and where the Fed is focused and what that means for mortgage rates. Uh, I also included three simple slides and the deck attached from MBS Highway, which is a fantastic resource that we use from an industry standpoint, just kind of outlining what we saw. Long story short, we do expect interest rates to continue to come down. They have ticked up slightly, but they are still just above what is about 18 month lows. So we're seeing great activity for buyers. We're seeing nice opportunity for refinances for those buyers that purchased over the last two years and more affordability in lending than we've seen really in quite some time. So good news all around. Follow up if you have any questions. I hope this is useful. Have a great Friday and have a great weekend. Take care.